So this, this is the second instalment of my video captured in Russia in 1987. We're out there on a month's training uh, at Vladimir School of Gymnastics. This video focuses mainly on Vladimir Artemov. Uh, my previous video focused on Yuri Korolev. Uh, Vladimir was a very solid all-around gymnast who later went on to become the 1988 Olympic champion which was held in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, we've got Vladimir now training some floor, working his double layout, somersault into a backflip um, for an opening tumble of a double layout, flick, double tuck. He's struggling a little bit to get the bounce from the flick into the double tuck onto the rings. Otomov was always such a clean gymnast, always had a superb line. Not a gymnast of the most flair in the world, uh, like McGilney and never the raw power of Bilizerchev, but he was such a solid competitor and had faultless lines really and very rarely made a mistake. He was an all-around gymnast, struggled really to find a weak apparatus for Artemov. Here today he's working a combination of compulsory exercises and his voluntary skills on the high bar. He was, I think, one of the only gymnasts at that time to do a double layout somersault in a dished hollow position. There's his one arm catch F. And the height he got from his action, which is obviously not today's conventional action on a high bar, was absolutely amazing. Onto the parallel bars, working some compulsory work. Back then, gymnasts had to compete in it whenever they did a, a World Championships or the Olympic Games. Compulsory exercise on one day and then voluntary routines on the on the following round of the competition. Now this is a real unusual one. We observed Artemov working a double front somersault to open out early looking to catch in a shoulder stand position which we thought was absolutely crazy. Never seen him compete this Obviously it was a skill he wanted to work um, and to put into his voluntary routine because it would have been something pretty quite special if he did it successfully and didn't manage to break his shoulders. Uh, you can see he's really just playing with the timing of it. It looks like he's trying to do a really early kick out as well and not keep the tuck shape. Really make a whole somersault in the tuck position and then completely open out for the second somersault to catch in that shoulder stand position so he's able to work out of that position which is quite amazing um, and it's obviously quite a risky skill because if you get the timing wrong you can wave goodbye to your deltoids but he persevered with it and it was obviously something which he was serious about competing at some point. If you watch the second somersault, he really tries to kick out to really stop dead in that shoulder stand position. I think the reason he wanted to do this skill to kick out early is so he could gain the power because he had the most awesome back up rise to handstand there you can see on the parallel bars the back up rise to handstand with a hop which he used to hop pirouette out of so I think he had in his mind to go the double front somersault to land in a controlled position straight into the back up rise with a hop half turn which would have been a really spectacular skill to see I'm so glad he won the Olympics in 1988 because he was always overshadowed by his teammates. 
um, he was always a solid steady gymnast always up there in the top three but never the winner and 88 was his year and he was the Olympic champion fantastic